This is Storm Track 12. It was another warm and beautiful day today, and it looks like this warmer weather is going to stick around for just a little bit longer. But taking a look outside right now, still not a bad evening out there. We're still in the 60s. We're at 65 here in Binghamton with winds from the south southeast at three miles an hour and satellite and radar also staying very quiet today. Thanks to that high pressure that's been building into our area really over the past couple days, giving us this nice and warm stretch of weather. But temperatures across the area are still on the mild side for this time of year in the 50s and 60s. Stanford at 53 degrees. Oneonta is at 59. Sydney at 55 degrees. Binghamton still the warmer spot at 65 and Ithaca is at 60 degrees. So we will see those clear skies continue over the next couple hours, but we'll see a little increase in cloud cover as we head into the overnight. But the good news is if you like these warmer temperatures, they are going to stick around for just a little bit longer. But then on Wednesday, that's when we'll start to see some changes as a cold front passes through, bringing us some rain chances and some cooler temperatures as well by the end of the week and into the weekend we will be cooling down to some much more seasonable temperatures. But over the past couple days, we did actually break a few records on Sunday. We had a high temperature of 69 degrees. We broke the record that was at 67 from 1975. And then actually today we broke another record. A high temperature at the Binghamton Airport was 71 degrees, breaking that record of 66 which was set back in 2009 and then for tomorrow we have another chance at breaking a record. We're forecasting a high of 70 degrees and the old record is 65 degrees, which is set back in 1975. But here's a quick update on what's going on in the tropics. We still have tropical storm Ada, which has really just been meandering around the Gulf of Mexico for the past couple days, and it's moving very slowly. It's not expected to make landfall until Friday or Saturday, but the good news is before it makes landfall, it is expected to weaken drastically to a tropical depression. But here's a look a little bit closer to home for a future track tonight, keeping us mostly clear to partly cloudy into tomorrow morning. Then we'll see a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day tomorrow. Then into Tuesday night, we'll see a little bit of an increase in cloud cover ahead of that cold front moving in. And then the bulk of the rainfall is going to move in on Wednesday and throughout the day. Throughout the rest of the day on Wednesday as well. By 7 o'clock, we're seeing some showers, even some heavier ones in those dark greens and yellows that you see. And then we'll keep that chance for some scattered showers with us really throughout the rest of the day on Wednesday. But temperatures by 9 o'clock will still be near 50 degrees. Lows for tonight will be in the upper 40s and low 50s. Tomorrow morning by 9 o'clock, we're up into the mid-50s. By lunchtime, we're into the mid-60s. And highs for tomorrow will top out in the upper 60s and low 70s before dropping back down into the 50s for the overnight. But for tonight, we're looking at a low temperature of 48 degrees, increasing clouds, and we could see some patchy fog as well. Range of temperatures 45 to 50 degrees. But here's a look at the rest of your seven day forecast. Another nice day for tomorrow. Then Wednesday, that cold front moves through, bringing us some shower chances. For Thursday and Friday, we really start seeing that cool down with a high of 53 degrees, high of 48 for Saturday, and then we'll see some showers for both Sunday and Monday.